what's up y'all it's your girl Brie Dupree I thought today we would kind of do like a get ready with me while I'm trying they're not new products in general but they're new to me because I haven't tried them I got some stuff here from Huda BH Cosmetics and elf so I thought we would just go ahead and try some things out I was gonna go in with this concealer to prime my eyes it is the elf perfect blend concealer but it's in the shade light beige and here it is swatched right there and I just feel like that's too dark so to prime my eyes I'm just gonna go in with naked revolution this is in the shade c9 it's too pink for me so I don't really like to use it um, under my eyes so I haven't even like really tried this um, dang, my mirror is just like gone. This is terrible news. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, so I'm just gonna prime my eyes first, I guess. This is nothing new. Probably going to fast forward through this. It's just us two now. You guys, so much has been going on in this house. One of my roommates um, moved out. So it's just me and the youngest one. And um, we don't get along that well. So it's definitely been a journey. I'm just going to set this down with the RCMA. No color, translucent, whatever, powder. A little some some for eyes today I thought we would go in with the Huda new nude palette um, I tried this one other time because I just bought this so this is new to me however I did manage to gouge a chunk out with my nail of this creamy stuff that like I don't even know who's using that I'm not using that yeah I'm not using that um, I don't even know why that's in there but this is why I don't mess with Huda Beauty. I never like, I don't know. It just is always a lot happening. It's just always just too much going on. I'm just doing like a natural look today. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm just going to the mall and going to Meijer to get vegetables for my rabbits. Like that's all I'm doing. And then I'm going to come back in here and probably clean. And like I started taking a kickbox class. So let's probably do kickboxing. Like, so I'm not trying to be doing that much. So I'm going to go with that. I also got, let's see if I can get them out. Um, no. I am going to be hauling. I bought stuff from e.l.f., BH Cosmetics, Jeffree Star, and Sephora. And it, I will be doing a haul. And stay tuned because I know at least for the e.l.f. haul I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I don't know how many giveaways I'm going to be doing. Um, but if you are watching this video and you need my channel, please subscribe because the giveaway is only going to be given out to people who are subscribed to me. Um... But yeah, so I, when I went to BH Cosmetics, I had to get another 101 brush. And it seems like you can only buy that brush in this kit. It's this brush right here that I'm talking about. It seems like you can only get this brush if you buy this Eye Essential 7-piece brush kit. Because I've, I've seen brushes similar to this. First of all, you... Okay. Okay. Everything's mixed around because I got a new cat and she loves to lay out on my vanity and I'm just like girl this is not for you and I have to wash my brushes also but anyways um so I saw, saw brushes similar to this on the website but it seems like you can only get this brush if you buy the kit and I also went and got another kit it's a 13 brush kit brush set from BH Cosmetics I need to wash all of my brushes and I know some people have a thing about like using brushes that are like they just got without like without washing them first but I personally like to use them I don't like to wash mine first I might I might like spray a little brush cleaner on it or whatever but I like to personally use them because they're the softest they're ever going to be when you first get them if that makes sense and everybody washes their brushes differently so I mean I have a way that definitely conditions my brushes but you can't like say if I'm using too much olive oil or too much soap and now my brush is dry and scratchy like I can't give you a, a review on the brush if I've altered it somehow just like just like hair in a way like you want to see how the hair is but I always co-wash my hair whatever you guys get the point so I got this kit and it comes with some cool stuff but I think today we might just be using um, blending brushes. I'm going to first go in with the 101 brush. There's nothing like getting a fresh 101 brush. I'm pretty sure I have at least two of them right now. 
yeah i do so this is i mean i'm pretty sure i had to throw away one but like just to show you guys oh, the 101 it's just so soft um here's how a new one looks and here are my old ones so after a while it does fray out see these are the older ones this is the new one right here it does fray out which i actually like these are full of cat hair because like i said this cat man sometimes i wonder why i love animals so much they cause me so much havoc anyways i think i'm gonna go in here take this little thing off i think i'm gonna go in here with um I think I'm gonna go in with clay, which is this nudie color, and put that on my crease and like really blow it out. These shadows have a substantial amount of fallout. Um, and they kind of get it kind of gets everywhere, so keep that in mind, I guess. I mean, there are a million um reviews about this palette online because I've seen them. I've been wanting to get this palette for a long time. I just, I don't think I've ever paid 60 something dollars for a palette. Like, I think Anastasia's is what, like 45 or 50. I did pay 52 for Jeffree Star. Some of his are 52, some of his are like, what, 45? But, I just feel like $65 is a lot for some like natural looking colors i think i'm gonna go on with teddy i haven't used teddy yet it's kind of cute yeah i think i'm gonna go on with teddy which is this brown right here god my nails look horrible you guys i can never to get my nails done i think i'm gonna just get them all this mint color that i have in my head and i already know it's gonna be expensive because it's like three dollars do you see me sweating over here it's three dollars for every so it's like probably like 15 to 20 dollars for the fill and then it's like three dollars for every full nail they have to fix so i'm already nine dollars because i have three nails sometimes i'm just like is it cheap if it's cheaper for you to just do a full set like just charge me for a full set don't be sitting here charging me for a fill-in you know what i mean like if a full set is thirty dollars and a fill a fill-in is 20 and if i had like four nails like, I'd be like, just charge me for a full set, bro. Like, why would I pay more money and you're not doing more, though? You know what I mean? That's just like, this shade has a lot. And I do mean a lot of kick up. Like, it's actually pretty insane. that play shade and just blend all of this up I've been liking that lately I don't know why don't ask me why let's just do something simple I think we'll just take I can't even see the shades because there's so much eyeshadow everywhere I think I'm gonna take Crave this shimmer shade right there I'm just gonna use my finger since it has no nail on it and put it on my lid I will say though that these shimmer shades are pretty dope but like it looks pretty lackluster right now I think if you were to wet your brush it's pretty dope 
I mean, it looks cute right now, but it just... I don't know. Over here, it looks a little bit better. You guys probably can't even see any of this, but... It don't matter, though. I just want to know how YouTubers can edit down these long-ass videos until, like, 20 minutes. It might be, like, 30 minutes. I really try to get my videos, all of them, under 25 minutes. Whenever you see it over 25 minutes... I just have too much. Like, I've just said too much. I've done too much. I'm going to go back over that with a flat brush. I'm going to just use one from this little kit that I just got. And then I'm going to spray it with some Makeup Revolution setting spray. If it'll come out. And then let's see how it looks. Let me do it that way. I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet today. I just got up. Got woken up by my cats because they're fighting. And then uh, took a shower. And now here we are. Yeah, that did like absolutely nothing. I think I'm going to take some of this fantasy shade right here and just put that like by my outer corner area to kind of blend it to but our foundation today I don't know what to go into because this is my favorite foundation at the time and it's like gone I might just gadge into it this is a makeup revolution stick foundation and I'm in the color f10 yeah I think I'm just gonna like take this brush and like gouge into it because I love I'm just gonna put it back in my hand because I love this foundation and like, just look at how creamy that is. Like, it's literally such an amazing foundation. And I just don't understand why. Like, when I was first using it, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. And I feel like I kept feeling like that until... It started getting low and I was like, wait, am I really out here just like using this foundation? Because it's so easy to apply. Well, it is easy when it's in the stick. Um, And it's just like the best with a brush. But I think today I'm going to use this beauty blender and see like where that takes us. Because I already got it wet, so... I might have to just switch to a brush. The one, yeah, I think it's the only thing. Like, I don't like the beauty blender look, but I'm using it for some reason. All of my brushes are super dirty right now. And I have to wash, like, all of them. Which is definitely on a list of things to do today. Do you guys see how the, eye, the eyebrow lady, like, left me with no eyebrows? I told her to keep my eyebrows thick. Um, just shape them up. And, like, if I could find a, vi a photo of my regular eyebrows, like, I'll show you guys here. But compared to, like, I've told a lot of people this and they don't think it's bad. Like, my eyebrows don't look bad. But compared to, compared to how my eyebrows normally look and how... You guys have seen my eyebrows. You guys have seen how thick I like my eyebrows. I feel so bald head right now. Like, half of my tail is gone. Like, she was really just out here. I felt like, well, I get my eyebrows threaded. Okay? And I always go to this one lady, but... Last time I went in there, it had been so long, and she was there, but she was on the phone, and she told me to go to her co-worker. So I was like, oh, okay, like, let me trust her judgment, um, which I shouldn't have done. Because I felt, I even felt, like, while I was laying in the chair, and she was threatening, I'm like, damn, like, she's really pulling off. You know, and you think, like, you're just exaggerating, you think that it's all in your head or whatever, but no, she was really out here. She was really out here, um, pulling on my eyebrows, eyebrow hairs off. Like, it's crazy how I look right now. Like, it's just crazy to me. I don't know how this is going to work because I'm using a different brow product today. I don't have any new concealer because I told you that Elf one didn't match. So I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced. And I find that if you do too much of this, um, it's really cakey. So I just like to do... 
the three dots under my it gets cakey under my eye I don't really notice it anywhere else except for there so that's all right I like to do only a couple dots and then I immediately before I'm even going to the next eye I'm immediately setting this down because it just creases on me so hardcore like so hardcore my hair is fully pink I have somewhat a video on how I got to it um I literally did a pink for these box braids but I loved it so much and I'll show you guys a picture in that video so so say subscribe for that if you want to see how I got the green out of my hair and just went full pink um stay subscribed because it will be coming maybe not soon but it's gonna be coming up um but yeah I love the color I did it only for these box braids because I didn't want to have the green um in my roots when I had these box braids in and I'm so glad I got that green out it has been in my hair even when I first dyed my hair from the first bleach from the first lifting I had my roots like like a bluish green or something like an aquamarine and then I went to like dark blue and then um it was that greeny tealy color and then even one time my whole head was green so green pigment has just been consistently like contributed to my roots over and over and over again since the first time I dyed it so it was very hard um very hard I tried a lot of remedies a lot of them didn't work it was very hard trying to get this green out of my head Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my eyebrows so today I'm gonna be using the HD brow pencil these were on sale on BH cosmetics and I bought like four of these because they just go by so fast and they're just so easy to use it comes with a spoolie on one side and then you have the brush on the other so it's kind of like a one-stop shop and like, she didn't even give me a lot of hair in the front. Like, this lady just has messed me up beyond repair. Alright, so that's as good as my eyebrows are going to get. I want to go in with this e.l.f. bronzer in light matte. Oh, that, okay. Right here. And see how that looks on our skin. I'm hungry. It looks a little super warm. I mean, super cool tones. Let's just go in with this other BH Cosmetics brush. It's this tapered looking one. It looks pretty cool, I guess. Let's just go in with that. Let's see what happens. Definitely falls out on the pan. Okay. I'm not mad at that color. Are you guys mad at that color? I'm not mad at it. I bet you it will look beautiful on top. I normally like to cream bronze and then like set it with a bronzer. But that would look really cute. Um, that's actually not a bad color. But, but let's see how it looks on the cheeks though. Because that's like the true test, isn't it? Isn't it always... It's actually looking pretty nice on the skin. I am not angry at that. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. It's nice. It's like buildable. You know what I mean? Like, look at look at look at that side. Look at this side. Look at that side. Like, it's just looks. It's looking nice. That was a plus. That was a plus. And now for blush. I want to go in with... I bought another blush palette for somebody who constantly const, constantly says they don't like blush. And it's from BH Cosmetics. And it's the classic blush 10 color blush palette. I think I have a palette like this. But it is... Um, it's like the blush nudes. Okay, I think this is the exact same one actually. Let me look, because if it, this is the exact same one, I'm just going to give this one away. Okay, everything please fall. 
Okay, so this one says 10 nude blush, and this one just says 10 classic blush. I'm gonna open them up though, and we're gonna just see. Yeah, this is like the exact same one. Okay, no, it's not, it's different. Okay, so here's the one I just bought, and here's the old one. So similar colors, like that color and like this color are the same, but like I feel like this color is right there, but not similar but not the same is what i'm going to go with i feel like this one has a couple bronzing shades in it whereas the other one didn't i'm gonna go with the other one because i'm gonna debate whether or not i want to get this way with you guys because i don't even use blush that much anyways i'm just gonna go with the same brush i used earlier and i'm just gonna take a mixture of this peachy one here and this pinky one here and we're going to see how it looks on the skin. I'm really liking this br this brush. Like, I keep wanting to say blush, but it's the brush that I like. I mean, the blush is cool too. But I think I'm really liking this brush. It's just like super soft. It's really blending everything together nice. So yeah. All right, I think that we're gonna cut the the cheekbone i have this sponge here i got from sephora i think i saw manny mua which we don't watch him anymore but i think i saw him and a couple of people use this to like cut and that's what i've been using i've been using it dry though so this is my first time trying to use it wet to bake under here oh yeah i think i like it better wet and then you just kind of all right, so I just put um, that nudie. Sh okay, here we go. Here's what I put on my. I put under my lids. I just put play under here and a little bit of tickled. It's so hard for you to see the words because. Okay, so now for highlight, I have a new highlight I want to try. I never tried this before. This is the BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Six Color Palette. Um, it looks like this. I've seen plenty of people. Oh! Okay, I dropped it and now it's like all the way over there. I even saw one lately, I don't I can't remember who it was. And I have yet to try this yet, so I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Glow. I think it is a sponge. It's the Intense Highlight Sponge by e.l.f. Let's just see how if this even works, because it looks like a big I thought it was brushes, but it looks like a big doe foot applicator. Whatever. I'm just going to take glow on this and let's just see. Well it definitely Whoa. That highlight though. Okay, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of radiance, which is this darker shade here. And let's see how all well that goes. Ooh. I don't know because the brush. It feels like to me the brush is kind of moving some things around. Let's try just my normal Morphe. That's gorgeous though. That's really gorgeous. I'm gonna take just radiance on my nose. Whoa! Oh my god. Radiance looks like it might be the jam. I'm gonna take some more radiance on my forehead. I like on those two. I am so starving. Like, I'm gonna have to eat a snack before I leave. And then probably have to pick up lunch. And then, just for good measure, I'm gonna take some glow again on this doe foot looking thing. Just so, like. I actually kind of like how it just put that down versus like super crazy over here. I actually do kind of like that. I'm gonna now I'm gonna go back in. This is the Morphe M531 brush. This is mainly I normally go between this brush and the Wet n Wild brush, and I'll put like a normal highlighter here on this one, and then I'll put a topper like the Fenty How Many Carrots or whatever on top. 
using this brush. So I'm gonna put a little bit of radiance on top of that. That's just gorgeous. Okay, well I see why everybody was raving about it. I can definitely see that. A little bit of that on the chin. Taking radiance and glow on my upper lip. And then I think what I'm going to do is take this little brush that also came in this. Oh, okay. It just broke off. Look at that. It literally just came off. I don't know if it's supposed to. Oh, is it supposed to do that? I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to take glow. Put that. Just a little bit. Not in too off. Oh, I'm over here bending in the mirror, and there's a mirror like right here in front of me. Duh. Because there's a mirror in this highlighting palette, which is really nice, really big. Definitely could be used for traveling. A little full face moment with this. I'm going to take some more of that glow, put that on my brow bone. right there brings a look together when you do that I feel like I look like I'm just dripping in gold right now I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and just sort of blend this into the skin a little bit all right and then for setting spray we'll go in with the BH cosmetics setting spray I haven't tried this at all. oh okay so it comes with like a lid like this and you unscrew that and then it comes with I don't know why they wouldn't just I guess maybe for travel but it's just like please don't do that all right let's see how this goes try to keep oh Jesus Christ I am I have just doused my face I did not mean I didn't know like oh my god you guys my face right now oh my god this is crazy looking oh my god I'm looking like I just came in from the rain why did I do this to myself like there's literally a tear a tear has formed oh my god my eyes are prone to watering anyway oh my god it's like I'm sweating it off this is, oh my god. Okay, well, don't spray as much as I did. And you hopefully will be fine. Oh my god. It got my eye. It's messing up my eye makeup. All right, for lips today, <laughs> um, I got a couple lip liners from BHK Cosmetics. So we're going to line our lips with one of them. This one is in the color earth and it's this mauvey looking situation here i'm gonna line my lips with that this kind of reminds me of my lip liner that i use already from maybelline but a little bit lighter and these are the kinds that are really good if you use it with a nude All right. It's creamy though. The tried and true mannequin. What else would you wear with this look? I don't know. I couldn't say. It actually matches mannequin perfectly. All right, this is the finished look. We got a little bit of mascara on the upper lashes, but it is what it is. Supernatural probably took what an hour to do. <laughs> this video is like 56 minutes long. Um, oh, my head itches. I've only had this hair in for a week. Can you believe how old it looks on top? Probably because I don't sleep with anything. I might start sleeping with something now. But now I have makeup on. I think this is my first time 
wearing makeup with this hair i'm kind of like feeling it i wasn't really liking this hair you guys this hair really had to grow on me people were telling me oh it's cute and i'm like i look like trash but now i'm starting to like it okay so my final thoughts on everything the eyeshadow palette i feel like i could have done without i feel like i could get the same look using my peach palette or a different palette um I really liked the highlighter, the bl the bronzer, the blush. I even liked the brush that I used. I will link this kit down below. It's a 13-piece brush kit. I'm it I didn't pay that much for it. I'll tell you that much. I definitely didn't pay that much for it. Probably no more than 20 bucks, even if that. And it's soup these brushes are super soft. And this was just like this brush in particular just blended my bronzer and my blush so seamlessly the highlighter is is a go for me um i obviously already knew that i love the eyebrow uh pencil thing the lip liner i don't know it's a good color it's just that like i i can feel it it felt almost like if you were going over the line more than twice it would it feels like kind of like just like sticky or something on your lips but since then it, it kind of subsided um, so, and it really does blend in perfectly with my go-to nude shade, so that's always a plus. The setting spray, <laughs> please just use like two sprays of this setting spray. This setting spray is crazy. I almost feel like it made my face kind of tight. Like this setting spray is crazy. Um, so, oh Jesus, so please just, just like... Just like twice, just spray your face like twice, as far away from your face as physically possible because it is just crazy out here. Um, but yeah, overall, most I loved most of the things. Um, this I would just take a pass on. It's just literally a doe foot. I, I don't even know how you would wash that. Um, and that was a waste of money, but it's also it was cheap. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna go get dressed. If it's something super cute, I'll show you guys. Um, if not, thanks for watching this super boring uh, video. <laughs> um, please stay tuned because I'm going to decorate the, this hair and talk, talk to you guys about this hair. I am also have some hauls coming up, some giveaways coming up, some plus size try-on hauls. We all know you guys love those. There's gonna be plenty of those coming. So please subscribe if you have not already. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!